The International Communist Current (ICC) is a left communist international organization headquartered in Paris, France. It was founded in 1975 and has published an international quarterly in English and French from that date. Subsequently, a Spanish edition has also been made available. Topic: Prehistory Mark Churik One of the key figures in the formation of the ICC was Mark Churik, one of the founders of the Palestinian Communist Party at the age of 13. Arriving in France in 1924, Churik was expelled from the French Communist Party shortly afterwards, at the same time as Albert Traint, and with latter participated in the short-lived League Communist. In 1935 he joined the Bilan group of the Italian fraction of the Communist Party, based in Paris, mobilized briefly during the Phony War, and imprisoned by the Germans after the collapse of the French armies, Churik managed to escape to Marseille where he spent the rest of the war. In 1941, under the difficult and dangerous conditions first of the Vichy regime, then of the German occupation, Churik was one of a small group of militants from the Italian fraction, who had escaped to Marseille and managed little by little to renew contacts with others in Belgium and Paris. In 1942, a French fraction of the Communist left was formed alongside the Italian fraction, with Churik's encouragement. Disagreements with the majority of the Italian fraction as to how to react to the uprisings in Italy at the end of World War II led Churik to join the French fraction in 1945, the latter transforming itself into the «Gauche Communiste de France» Communist left in, France in the same year. The GCF was to publish a newspaper and a theoretical review between 1945 and 1952. In 1952, the GCF fearing an outbreak of a new world war as a result of the conflict in Korea decided to disperse its handful of militants around the world, and Churik left France for Venezuela. With his departure, the GCF went into decline and disappeared. <laughs> May 1968 and the formation of «Révolution Internationale» It was not until 1963 that Churik was able to form around him a new group, essentially made up of students, which began to publish Internationalismo in 1965 and developed correspondence with other groups around the world, notably news and letters in the United States, and the short-lived Mouvement pour l'Instauration des Conseils, created in Toulouse in 1968 and which began publishing Révolution Internationale in 1969. The group quickly achieved a certain notoriety. The Situationist International, however, criticized them for intellectual dishonesty. In 1970, Churik returned definitively to France and joined the re-group. The early 1970s was a period of intense discussion amongst a whole series of groups in the process of rediscovering the heritage of what was known as left communism. RE took an active part in the process, participating regularly in the meetings of informations et correspondences ouvrières. In June 1972, a conference in Clermont-Ferrand decided on the merger of RE, the Cahiers du Communisme de Conseils from Marseille, and the Organisation Conseilliste de Clermont-Ferrand. Topic: <laughs> Foundation of the ICC, 1975. International discussions took place between RE and several other groups, World Revolution, a breakaway group from Solidarity in Great Britain, Internationalism United States, Internationalismo Venezuela, and Acción Proletaria Spain led to the formation in 1975 of the International Communist Current, which published the first issue of its International Review in April 1975. The following year, a minority faction of the Communist Workers' Organization joined World Revolution UK. In 1976, the ICC held its first international congress. Among the participants was Jan Appel, a veteran of the German Revolution and the 1920 Ruhr uprising. 
In the years that followed, contact was also opened up with Onorato Damon of the Partito Comunista Internationalista in Italy, and with Cajo Brendel of Dodd and Gadochta in the Netherlands. In 1981, a group of members, mostly based in Scotland, split from World Revolution UK to form the Communist Bulletin Group. At Mark Chirik's death in 1990, having given his last 15 years to the organisation, the ICC published a brief summary of his life. Topic: Political positions and intervention. The ICC claims to have created a synthesis of the different elements of the left communist tradition, in particular those targeted by Lenin in his famous left-wing communism, an infantile disorder, against participation in parliament or the trades unions, and against entryism into the social democratic, labor, communist, or Trotskyist parties. However, at the same time, they reject varieties of councilism which reject the Russian Revolution, saying that they express a movement away from the conceptions of revolutionary Marxism. The basic positions published on the back of every ICC publication define the organization's activity as follows Political and theoretical clarification of the goals and methods of the proletarian struggle, of its historic and its immediate conditions. Organized intervention, united and centralized on an international scale, in order to contribute to the process which leads to the revolutionary action of the proletariat. The regroupment of revolutionaries with the aim of constituting a real world communist party, which is indispensable to the working class for the overthrow of capitalism and the creation of a communist society. From the beginning, the ICC attached considerable importance to the republication and critique of texts from the workers' movement. Over the years, it has published a number of books and texts including A History of the British Communist Left A History of the Russian Communist Left Recent issues of the International Review have included a previously unavailable complete edition of a document by Gavril Myasnikov A History of the Left Wing of the Turkish Communist Party The ICC's conception of practical activity within the day-to-day -day struggles of the working class was set out in a Reply to our critics the organization's French section was heavily involved in the steelworkers' struggle in 1979. In November 2010, the ICC joined people advocating the use of legitimate force to stop a rise in tuition fees at British universities to mobilize school children. At least one ICC member attended a planning meeting of the Education Activist Network Campaign Group. The ICC has defined itself as anti-Freemasonry, stating that as exploiting classes, these enemies of the proletariat necessarily employ secrecy and deception both against each other and against the working class. Topic: <laughs> Publications. The ICC continues to publish its theoretical quarterly international review in English, French, and Spanish. It publishes regular agitational articles in its printed press and or on its website, in the following languages, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Dutch, Turkish, Tagalog, and Portuguese. It also publishes less regularly, or occasionally, in Russian, Hindi, Bengali, Korean, Persian, Japanese and Swedish. It has also published basic texts in Greek, Finnish, Chinese, and Hungarian. Topic. India Communist Internationalist is the press of the international communist current in India. It publishes pamphlets, leaflets and statements in English, Hindi and Bengali. Topic. Notes Topic. External links ICC website Topic Sources Hempel, Pierre, nineteen ninety three Marc Laverne et la gauche communiste de France, Tome one. France, shot alone. Borsailer, Christophe, two thousand three Histoire générale de l'ultra gauche. Paris, Editions Denoil. ISBN 2207251632. Hempel, Pierre. 
Internationale Situationiste 1958 69. Amsterdam, Van Hennep, 1970.